beautiful people. Happy solstice. Um, I'm here to, with you today to talk about um, Christ consciousness and Jesus and my perception and my thoughts on this topic. Jesus, I've been very close with Jesus my whole life. I was raised Catholic, even though I never vibed with religion, with I never understood it. it, didn't make sense to me, you know, that God would kill his only begotten son and all this, this story, it just didn't make any sense until later on in life when I started, after my awakening, I started reading the Bible again and making sense out of it and going back into the New Testament, Testament reading over Jesus' teachings and it's all about love, it's all about going within finding God within you. He said, these things that I do, so shall you and more. We all have the power of the Christ within us. We all have the ability to do the things that he did, except he, I feel like when he came into this earth, his DNA was upgraded with, uh, with you know, Mother Mary being a virgin and all this. I feel like he came in with his DNA upgraded to be in this, have this fourth density body, which the law of one talks about. This fourth density is where we're headed to in our evolution as a species. He already came with an upgraded body and he was able to channel the logos, the mind of our galaxy, the mind of our solar system, through him into this body that's why he talked he talked in a way that was like that he could he could heal he could forgive your sins he could do all these things because he was embodying the mind of our galaxy he was embodying god and god was flowing and moving through him Jesus came to me in a dream after my awakening, and at the time I was going through EMT school. And uh, I was sober at the time and just really focusing on the spiritual path. And he came to me in a dream, he, and we walked together. He told me everything I needed was within me, that I was on the right path, and I knew what I had to do. and. There was a lot more to it too, but I don't remember all of it. Those are the main things I remember. And that dream was so profound and powerful to me that I knew that I had to devote my life to this. I knew that th this was real. And at the time I was studying the Bible and um, seeing it from a higher perspective. And it's all about love. And Jesus was the embodiment of a perfect human, the embodiment of perfect love in this human body. He was a template for us. He was basically a role model for us to what we're headed for in this spiritual evolution in this human body. This is our purpose, what we're here to accomplish through many, many lifetimes we have to go through this. And the Law of One talks about this, where you go through uh, a stage of seven densities, which is like the seven chakras, and we go from first density as a, as a planet, as a spiritual evolution through this physical plane, we go through first density, which is rocks, minerals, um, rocks, minerals, elements, fire, air, water, earth, and then over millions of years, we progress into living life, microbial life, plants, animals. And then we progress into the third density, which is the solar plexus, which is humans. And as we progress through this third density, we, go, we move away from being more of like an animal. And that's why you see how our species has evolved from killing each other to mindless wars to all this to all these animalistic desires and we become more loving like what you see martin luther king uh gandhi 
Jesus, all of these people showing us love because that's what we're moving into with the fourth density. And the fourth density is the density of love, of Christ consciousness, of all of us being connected with each other because that's what we are. We are all one. We are all one with the Creator, with God, and there is a cosmic web connecting all of us. And it is separation, it is illusion that we are all separate, that we are an individualized entity. It's an illusion. We are all one, and we go through this veil of forgetfulness so we can progress and we forget who we are. So over all these many lifetimes with all these things that we learn, we can learn love and we can learn to be an enlightened being and move on to the next density. And what we are going through now is the harvest, which Jesus talked about in his parable. Um, he had parables about this and one of them was, there was a man going through, there's this farmer who was who had these crops and there was somebody that was going through the crops planting weeds. And instead of getting rid of all the weeds, the farmer said, let the crop grow with the weeds. And at the time of the harvest, you cut all the crops and the weeds and then throw the weeds in the barn and burn them. And that was an analogy for this harvest that we're going through, which is um, a graduation into the next level of consciousness, the Christ consciousness. And those souls who are not ready for that graduation are going to have to reincarnate on another planet that's like ours now. Um, so this is what Jesus was here. And it was through Jesus that the Logos, the mind of our galaxy, um, spoke through him and gave these teachings. He knew that this was coming. And he understood that we are all one. When they were nailing him to the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they don't know who they are. And that is so powerful because he had so much love that even when they were torturing him, nailing him to the cross, he had perfect love. He understood that they're living in illusion. They don't know who they are. And he saw that source, that God, that creator within them. And that is what the law, the law of one teaches us to do too. See the creator in everybody. Look in the mirror, see the creator within yourself. Once you start to live life like this, your whole perception of everything changes. When you have negative thoughts in your mind, you can take a step back and look at it. Okay, this is not me. I am not the separate self. This, these are just thoughts that are just coming in unconsciously. This is not who I am. And same with all these attachments that you have. The reason Jesus could do the things that he did was because he, had, he didn't have these attachments. He didn't have these beliefs that were limiting him from doing these things. He knew exactly who he was. And Jesus, I believe, that he traveled to India through all these different places. He went to the British Isles and um, studied with the Druids, the Master Druids, and they taught him how to achieve these abilities. He was born into a mystery school called the Essenes. And um, this was a mystery school in Israel. And uh, same with Mary, she was part of this and she was she was chosen for this and for the because her dna was already upgraded and her dna could handle birthing jesus yeshua into this earth and he came in with this mission the law of one says that jesus was a fourth density wanderer which is a star seed that came from the higher dimensions to teach earth to teach the people on earth of love because they were stuck, especially back in those days. They had this old idea of this wrathful God and all these 
very low vibrational things that were keeping their society in a lower state of vibration. He came to break that cycle. That's when, that's why when he came to Jerusalem and he saw that people were giving money to these false priests to have acceptance from God, he came in there, started busting tables and flipping shit and say, this is not right. This is not how we do things. This is not what God is about. And that's why they killed him. And then when they kill him, the Romans or whoever was in charge, this Illuminati at the time, took his teachings because they couldn't stop them. Because of the miracles he did, it was too powerful for them to stop. It was spreading all over the earth. So they took his message, they created the church, and they created a fear-based a religious institution to keep people in a state of fear, to keep them afraid of God, to keep them afraid of going to hell and think that we are all sinners when we are all gods, we are all God, we are all the one infinite creator. And it is this time in this winter solstice, the three days of darkness and the rebirth of being born again, being born again as the Christ within you, that this is a sacred time. That's why it's Christmas. That's why it was chosen for this day. And it's been, it's been, um, there have been ceremonies all through thousands of years for this day. And that's why they had Christmas on this day. And it, it's amazing. And Jesus doesn't want us to worship him. Je Yeshua doesn't want us to look above and worship him. He wants us to meet him on his level, to find that love within us and escape the wheel of karma, escape the wheel of suffering and move on to this next level of human evolution. And this is prophesied in the Mayan prophecies with 2012. In 2012, we entered in our galaxy a space of time that is this energy, this high frequency energy that is the Christ consciousness. It is the fourth density energy. And we are going to become uh, more connected with ourselves. Uh, with each one of us, we're going to become more telepathic. And we are going to go through events that are going to change life on earth forever we're going to move into a higher density into a higher awareness into the new earth into the new age and it's not going to be all butterflies and rainbows we're going to have to face our darkness and that's what we've been going through with covid with all this crazy stuff that's been going on the past couple of years it's been the darkness coming to the surface because it's high frequency energy and it is we have to face our darkness we have to go within ourselves instead of pointing fingers at these other people playing the victim and doing all these things you need to look within yourself and see how you're contributing to these things look within and find your power, find the Christ that is within you. We also have this Kundalini energy, which is the Christ seed within us. And there's a physical aspect to it too, where there's this oil, this Christ oil that travels from uh, your brain and travels down your spine and then down your 33 vertebrae. Jesus lived to be 33 and then it travels up your spine goes into your pituitary and your pineal gland and that is the awakening of the Christ within you and we all have access to this it's been in portrayed in religions all across the world with the pine cones with these Anunnaki beings and Samaria and Egypt and all these different societies that had this written on their walls and had this ingrained in their society. This, this is a truth that's been hidden for thousands of years that they don't want us to know because the people who are in power, 
want to control us, keep us in this lower state of vibra vibration, keep us in fear so they could feed off of that lower vibrational energy. And, then he's, and that is these Draco, uh, Orion, Alliance, that is these demonic entities that have been enslaved humanity for thousands of years. And that's why Jesus came here to free us from that cycle, to show us the higher path, the path of love, the path of forgiveness, forgiving yourself and forgiving others and loving ourselves and loving others, but also balancing that with wisdom, with having boundaries and walking the middle path, balancing the masculine and the feminine energies within you. And that is how he raises kundalini energy upper spine and embrace this higher vibrational energy and this is an exciting time we are living in and thank you all for listening to me to this video and uh hold on a sec this song. sound healing thing tomorrow um, um, for a solstice event and there's a lot of good happen good things happening and subscribe and like this video and subscribe to my channel and like this video and share if you feel obligated to I love you all thank you so much have a wonderful holiday and Christmas Thank you.